I know it's been a while since I've been on, but I just have to speak on this topic. This topic is for those to open their eyes and for those to see what is happening because the world will love its own. As in John 15, 19, it states, if you belong to the world, it will love you as its own, as it is. You do not belong to the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. That is why the world hates you. This is why these platforms hate those that speak the truth. They censor us. They try to get us for community guidelines. They ban us. They take away our videos and comments and so forth. But this is a direct hit at YouTube because I want to share this. It's a guy on here, Shannon Sharp. Many of you know him as a show he has on here, Club Shay Shay. He's a man of the world. We all know. He has actually uh, stated that he didn't know that he was on IG when he was having sex with a woman. And he didn't realize that it was on live. But many people are posting it and you can hear them actually having sex. And he admitted that it was him. So it's not fabricated. It's not AI or anything, right? Many of people are posting this and you can hear this. You can hear this woman, you know, moaning and groaning and all these things. But why has YouTube not banned the videos or people who are making these videos? But yet I did a video and in the video, it was reference of how these kids be vaping and so forth. You know, it's a, it was an educational for parents to say, hey, watch your children because you don't know what they're doing. Right. And it was a kid in there. He was pretending like he was smoking. He wasn't even actually smoking. But they took that video down. And they have took many of videos down from me and many other Christians. But you have to ask yourself, why? Why do they let things like this continue to stay on this platform? Now, you have kids that is on here from the ages younger on up, even up to 17, 18. But when they run across and hear these types of things. But why? doesn't YouTube do anything because the world will love his own because it's worldly type stuff. But when we speak about something that is the truth, they want to silence us. But this is something so you can pretty much to see. And I know it's their platform. I know what the guidelines is, but are they really with their own guidelines upon what they're putting out? No, because they like the negativity because it makes them money. It gravitates a crowd. But I come to tell you, YouTube, I'm going to report most of these videos, and if they're not taken down, I'm going to sue you. I'm going to do whatever I can to show you, and I don't care if this is your platform. But right is right, and wrong is wrong. But in today's world we live in, good will be called evil, right? And evil will be called good. But this is what we have to watch for. Pay attention and open your eyes because we are in for an rude awakening. But this is what we're up against today, and it's sad. Remember, pay attention. Don't be distracted because that's all social media is. And please, if you're Christian, don't make money off of God's name. Remember, he's still watching. At any given moment, he's, he will shut you down if you don't stop and repent. It all may... Seem good, all money, ain't good money, all glitter and gold. But when you try to finesse God, eventually what you have will come crumbling down. So be aware of that. So if you don't have the fear of the Lord anymore, I suggest you get back that fear of him. Because he is a mighty God that you don't want to play with. God bless.